UCAD uh, stepping in. It was a voluntary one last summer. This is UK anti-doping um, with their suspension. And as far as I know, um, they operate with world anti-doping, with, with WADA, which would suggest that his plans to maybe fight outside the UK would be made far more difficult on that basis. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I saw that um, UCAD have now stepped in and they are talking about a possible two-year ban. This discussion is being held over the airways of talk boxing. From the UK, a show that will cover the sport of boxing and its participants from a UK perspective. But what's more than interesting is the fact that the Connor Ben PD fallout, which Ben was addressed as having failed not one but two tests in 2023-2022. Accountability is at the base here. Ben has been on something for a while. All you need to do is look at these images that we have on the pages here and you can tell that there's something going on with this young man. But in a sport which is deadly to begin with and you have more and more fighters failing drug tests every day, accountability never seems to be in order with these men. Everyone is in denial. Everyone who pops dirty has the excuse of not knowing how did that get there? How did that get in my body? Well, look at the images of Conor Ben and ask yourself, do you see changes in Conor Ben? And we're not talking about the type of changes where a person can get older, get more grayed, get more wrinkled, even sometimes put on weight or lose weight. But we're looking at a genetic change a change that typically happens when someone is taking substances. Yes, that's very true. Just like you can take substances to be under the influence, you can take substances that can enhance. And that seems to be the make of order here when we're talking about Connor Ben. Two failed tests at two different times, but you could see the difference in his body and how he has come along and maturing as a young man. 
in the sport of boxing where you hone your skills and ready your body for physical battle. PEDs are not warranted. You don't need a substance that can help you not only defeat another person, but to beat them if not into submission, not into a coma, maybe into the graveyard. Juicing, as they call it, in professional sports has been around for a long time. But with certain physicians and chemists who work behind the scenes to provide these athletes with an edge that doesn't exist when they're just not athletically gifted or physically gifted. They look for help, a means to compete and to be a part of something. This is not acceptable. But what's even worse are the lies. The lies that fighters tell themselves and the public when they try to convince you that they don't know what you're talking about. The testing is wrong, it's tainted, it's unfair. What's unfair are the chances that these men are being given to continue to go out there and beat the system or try to beat the system and have advantages over opponents where their very lives are at stake. Who knows of any of the past ring deaths may have been attributed to someone cheating in the sport of boxing. The cover-ups are there. The fact that we look at these athletes on a regular basis and we can tell something isn't right, even down to the psychological approach, the aggression. It was long said PEDs, steroids, can give effects on individuals that sometimes you can see readily with your eyes and sometimes you can feel emotionally from the impact and influence that someone suffers. Just like being high on cocaine or meth, a chemical imbalance in your system, whether it's overstocking or it's depleting and depressing you, it's there and people can see it. For someone to be in denial about the fact that they are using substances but they want to use an excuse of not knowing how it got there. But you know before you've even taken it, why you want to take it. Because you feel inadequate. Your abilities are insufficient. You don't have what it takes to maintain or to be a part of. So you look to cut corners. You look for advantages. And then you also try to surround yourself with people who will lie for you and help cover you and hide you. But the truth will always come to the forefront, even if it isn't immediate and the damage has already been done. When you are out there and you are cheating, trying to gain advantages over opponents in sports, we're talking here about the sport of boxing. Something needs to be done. Banning is one way to handle it. And standing up to the ban and enforcing it nationally, internationally, to make certain that individuals pay the price so someone who can be victimized doesn't end up paying the ultimate price. Think about it. Connor Ben has been in denial. He has even sought through his people to seek out an aged, retired Manny Pacquiao to bring him out of retirement for an opportunity. If boxing is that important to you, why not simply work harder? But no, failing drug tests 
means that you want to cut corners. Body beautiful doesn't win fights. Skill, capability, technical proficiency, and know-how. That's what wins fights. Heart, courage, and determination. Not things that are coursing through your veins. Unnatural. This is Stormy B. Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, the third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave comments. Let me know what you think of this editorial. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.